Chipotle is here to help you save some calories. They got their new cilantro lime cauliflower rice. Let's try it out. What to do, what to do, it's your boy Big Ben. We back again with something new. You already know if something new just came out, well, it's something new we gotta talk about. What's going on, everybody? Today, we got something new from Chipotle. Chipotle has a new addition to their menu and it's pretty timely because I just did a review of Qdoba's cauliflower Mexican mash alternative to their rice. They have a new bowl and I just reviewed that and I was like, why doesn't uh, Chipotle have this? And then bang, they just dropped it. Chipotle just launched a new cauliflower rice. I'm gonna give you all the details about it. Plus, I'm gonna try it and let you know if it's something you wanna get or something you wanna skip. So real quick, if you're finding me for the first time, you stumbled onto the channel, make sure to subscribe. I'm always doing new food reviews, so make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and that way you can stay up to date. So here's a 401 on it, guys. So the price tag. Kind of with Chipotle, guys. Chipotle is kind of like that thing that you just want. You like, man, how, how much is going to cost me, man? It's going to be a kidney? What, what, what's it going to take? <laughs> Chipotle is definitely cracking your head for this, okay? To substitute for the cauliflower rice is $2, all right? It is what it is. It's Chipotle. It's a new year, New Year's resolutions. They're going to tax you for it, all right? But this is a nice thing. You know we respect the calorie. Calories for cauliflower rice is only 40 calories. It's literally a fifth of what you would get if you got white rice or brown rice. So that's a huge win. If you're trying to lose some weight, cut some calories, and still get Chipotle, it's absolutely the way to go. So this cauliflower rice is basically grilled cauliflower, cilantro, lime, salt, and four grams net carbs, that's it. That's that's pretty good, actually. Final little details, guys, then we're gonna hop into it, is they have a lot of different lifestyle bowls. So they have a Whole30 bowl. You can get that as salads. They also have a keto bowl. They have a vegan bowl with the guacamole. And those bowls range from $9 to $11. So kind of what I have here is really similar to the Whole30 bowl. Let me show you what it looks like. All right, guys, I got my bowl and it's unsatisfactory. There is, uh, it doesn't look anything like the marketing. So I'm gonna do a quick pause. I'm gonna be right back with the actual bowl because I'm going back to Chipotle. I'm gonna pull up on them and they're gonna be some words on site, on site. <laughs> I'll be back guys. I gotta give you an official review, so I'll be back. All right guys, I am back and sorry about that little delay snafu at the beginning. I went back to Chipotle. They kind of tried to strong arm me a little bit. It was like, oh, we ain't making it right now. I was like, you guys got the, got the marketing up. What do you mean you ain't making it right now? I had to go back and forth. And finally, they decided to make a fresh bash for me. But golly, come on, Chipotle, get together. It actually might work out kind of good, guys, because I got my bowl here, which you saw, that doesn't have the cauliflower rice. A little bit cold, but that's okay. But it might work out because I have a side of just a cauliflower rice by itself. So this will give you guys a good shot on what it looks like. So there is the cilantro lime cauliflower rice. Go ahead, get a bite, get a whiff get all that. As soon as I took the top off, I'm getting that cauliflower smell. So again, if you like cauliflower, smells really good, smells roasted, uh, but more importantly, how's it taste? Let's try it out. I'm gonna dump this on here, but first, let me do just a bite by itself, guys. Here we go. Cilantro lime cauliflower rice. Let's do it. Get a bite. Go ahead and get a bite, guys. Boom, look at that cilantro on there. Looks pretty good, they got a good batch. Here we go. Could use a little seasoning. Okay, I know what I'm working with. I'm gonna tell you guys about it. Let me just dump this on here for you guys. Give you guys a good little shot. Boom, 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 boom. So this is a better shot. This is what an actual bowl would look like. Here's a better shot. All right, now let's mix it up and try it out. Here we go. I wanna, I wanna do a bite here for the people who might be used to a main, you know, normal Chipotle bowl and just want to substitute. Let me let me break that down for you guys. My meal's a little messed up because it's kind of cold now. But I can taste enough of this cauliflower rice 
to tell you the differences of it. So the geek question, because I do love their white rice. Like the brown rice too, but I love their white rice. It's just so flavorful and that's probably why it's the calories that it is. You know, I could substitute this. It doesn't feel like you're getting robbed, except for them, them $2. <laughs> that's a pretty big jump to get the cilantro rice. But otherwise, I could use this in the, I could do this in the bowl. Tastes really good. Um, could use a little bit of salt, but you get that cilantro. You taste the roasted cauliflower. Uh, tastes really good. You get that, you know, that lime uh, flavor that Chipotle is known for. It tastes good. So the two dollars is a little price take difference. You know, that's one thing. I want to say one more thing. Let me do one more bite. Yeah. Okay. So. This is the last little difference. I have one more bite here. They do it totally different from Qdoba. So Qdoba does like kind of like chopped up miniature stalks, um, heads of cauliflower, kind of like a, a frozen bag. It, it, it didn't, you know, taste like that. It tasted really good actually. I like both presentations. I can't say I like one or the other. I think it minced up kind of dice like Chipotle does it. Might be better. Qdoba executed theirs really well too. I actually like the flavor of Qdoba's a little bit more, oddly enough, uh, which is a, a really big feat, you know? So check out the Qdoba review, but I would probably give this Chipotle cauliflower rice, um, only because I compared it to Qdoba already, and I, and I like Chipotle's products better, but I'd probably give this one a score of a strong 7.5 maybe do an eight. They execute really well on what they do, but I think it could be just a little bit better because I've had Qdoba's. Um, again, that's hard to say because I like Chipotle products more. I, I, I gotta be honest, I like it more. If you eliminate Qdoba and just the main thing, hey, can you get this in a bowl, save some calories if, if you wanna pay the $2 extra, this is the way to go. If you try this out, let me know what you think about it. Also, if you're trying to lose weight and you're looking for other options out there, check out my Subway Protein Bowl. That one is really tasty as well. Everyone is trying to capitalize on your New Year's resolution, so hopefully you got a couple options um, to go with. But guys, I'm gonna shut down production. I'm gonna add my little secret ingredient onto this and demolish it. <laughs> but that's the review. Hopefully you found it helpful, insightful, all that. As always, if you like the video, if you rock with me the whole time, please leave a like. Don't share once, share twice. Drop a comment. Let me know what you guys want to see next on something new, whether you're regular or a first timer, make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell reminder. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.